Dr. Ken Berry, Five Easy Steps to Reverse Type 2 Diabetes. You can do this for free. You don't need to buy anything from me or click on any links or do any of that stuff to absolutely reverse your type 2 diabetes and keep it reversed for the rest of your life. You don't need to buy any products whatsoever. Uh, you don't need any prescription medications, either pills or insulin injections to reverse your type 2 diabetes. I'm in the process of renaming this condition, and we're going to start calling it chronic carbohydrate overdose syndrome. When you call it that, it takes away the mystery. Oh, I have type 2 diabetes. I don't know why. It must be genetic, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was born on the wrong day of the week. No, it's none of that. You have type 2 diabetes because of chronic carbohydrate overdose syndrome. Having type 2 diabetes is not your fault but it absolutely is your problem. And so you need to pay careful attention to these five easy steps, maybe write them down. Step number one is you need to stop all sugars, whether added sugars or naturally occurring sugars. And so obviously anything that has added sugar, either that you added or that the big food manufacturer added the sugar to, you need to stop eating those things. They're actually, they're not really food. They're products that are made in a factory that you're then convinced that are food and they're gonna spike your blood sugar, which is gonna raise your insulin and you will never ever reverse your type two diabetes eating these things. Number two is you've gotta stop eating all grains. Now the most common culprits are wheat, corn, oats, and rice. These are the big guys, but really any grain is gonna to be too high in carbohydrates. Now what you obviously, as a type two diabetic, you know that if you eat sugar, your blood sugar goes up and then your pancreas has to deal with that. But what you may not know, what many people don't know, is that any grain, rice, oats, wheat, corn, amaranth, millet, quinoa, any of these, they convert immediately into sugar. Even before you swallow them, the amylase, which is an enzyme in your mouth, starts to break down the starches into sugar in your mouth before you even swallow them. Step three is to remove all vegetable oils from your diet. Canola oil, soybean oil, sunflower, safflower, peanut oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, all of these guys are inflammatory in nature. They have a, a very high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, but they also oxidize very rapidly uh, when you cook with them and also in your body. And many authorities, many experts believe that they also contribute to the pathophysiology that ultimately leaves you with type 2 diabetes. Step four is to include lots of fatty meat in your diet. Fat and protein don't raise your blood sugar any meaningful degree. They also don't raise your insulin level to any meaningful degree. So you can get away with eating lots of fatty meat, which is fat and protein, plus tons of vitamins and minerals, because meat is full of those. Step five is to get any carbohydrates you do eat from above ground, non-starchy vegetables, okay? Some people can reverse their type two diabetes by eating 100 total grams or less each day. Some people have to tighten this up more and eat only 50 total grams of carbohydrates each day. Uh, some people like me have to eat 20 total grams a day or even less to reverse and keep their type 2 diabetes reversed. You can reverse your type 2 diabetes for free and on your own. However, if you're currently on medication, check with your doctor. Dr. Kinberry's new name for this disease, chronic carbohydrate overdose syndrome. It takes away the mystery of why you have it. You have type two diabetes because of chronic carbohydrate overdose. It is not your fault, but it is your problem. Step one, stop all sugar consumption. Sugar that you added or sugar that the food company added. These processed items are not food. They spike your blood sugar. Step two, stop eating all grains, wheat, corn, oats, rice, and all others. Any grain converts immediately into sugar, even starting in your mouth. 
Step three, remove all vegetable oils from your diet. These are processed seed oils made in a factory. Canola, soybean, sunflower, safflower, peanut, corn, etc. All are inflammatory. They have a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. They oxidize rapidly. Step four, eat lots of fatty meat. Fat and protein do not raise blood sugar or insulin very much. You can eat tons of these things. They contain tons of vitamins and minerals. Step five, get your carbs, if you want some, from above ground, non-starchy vegetables. Carbohydrates, how much to eat and still reverse type two diabetes? Some can eat a total of 100 grams a day. Others, 50 grams. Others, like Dr. Ken Berry, only 20 grams a day. Annotated, summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.